there hi girlies and boysies and welcome to my channel hi there girlies and boysies how have you been right i'm back and i'm doing a makeup video oh no they say you're gonna be on here now for another hour well uh, let's hope not let's hope that my new video editing skills cut out most of the crap <laughs> and make these videos a lot shorter like they should be oh my god anyway i'm gonna get ready i'll be back Doodle, see in a minute. <clears throat> right, change my mind. I'm going with this little bad boy. I cannot tell you, this must be take five with the eyeshadow. As you can see, I've already been making myself up half a dozen times and I don't like it and I've been wiping it off. So, Take five. So we're going in with the revolution again. And I still want the red because I put red on before and red is okay. So why it ain't working today, I do not know. So I'm going to put some base on. Just bit of base. Put banana milk. Oof, looks like that, I don't know. Right, I'm going to put some base on, which you've, you've seen me do a thousand times. And, and then I'll pop back and we'll get cracked on with the colour. Right, so I primed my eyes up, so this is the palette. So I'm going to think I'm going to go with some browns just to and then I'm going to end up using this red down here just so as you can visualize that in your head so I'm going to get some browns going on um I'm going to try medium brown and we'll build up I think this is where I was going wrong last time I just slapped it on and I just didn't like it and I know I'm not the neatest person in the world putting eyeshadow on it because that's why I um always put my eyeshadow on after I've put my foundation on. Um no I put my eyeshadow on before I put my foundation on you silly mare. Um because I get that much fallout um from my eyeshadows and I'm mauling about and I'm fiddling about with them all that I can just brush it off with a baby wipe rather than put all that powder on my face and cake even more crap on my face so rather than do that I'll just put my eyeshadow on first um so I'm just going into the above the eye socket there and I'm just going into the crease with the brown always like I said, there's no rules with makeup. You just go with the flow. You do whatever you feel um, is, is 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 you. Because you are unique in your own little way. And nobody should ever take that away from you. Um, nobody. Nobody's any right to. So I'm going to go in now for a red, I think. Then I'm going to get the red over with. And then I'm going to go in with the dark brown just to soften it up in the corners. So I'm going to put the red on the lid. Um, I don't really want... Um, right. I just want a soft red. I don't want um, a dramatic. But at the same time, I do like a bit of colour. 
I'm not one of these people that, you know, will stick to nudes completely all the time. Can you see what, what's happening here? That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put a red on. Uh -huh. See, now I, I love that red. I just love it. I think it was the wrong red, the other one. Right, and then I'm going to use the darker brown called Sweet Tooth. Tap off because it's a bit too much there. And then I'm going to go back into the corners and just soften that line and blend it in. Right, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back to you because um, we're going on to the eyeliner. Okay, so that's both eyes done. So with that nice light brown shade called oh, many things, Multitasker. I'm just going to go underneath um, the eyebrow the eye <laughs> not the eyebrow you plonker because I think if you put eyeshadow underneath we've got some dark under now to blend in that corner Um, because I think if you put some eyeshadow on underneath it softens the because I'm sorry but I'm maybe 50 53 but I still like my black eyeliner I know there are 53 year olds are going oh that's a bit too light you know for me at my age but I think if I can still get away with wearing it I'm going I'm going to wear it I've always been a black eyeliner queen me. Even at school, you swear it. Even if I didn't wear any other makeup, because at school you weren't allowed, but we were cheeky. Back at day, it worked like today. I mean, they were straight, but they, you know, there were ways and round. There were ways and means of around it. Do you know what I mean? You just avoided the teachers that used to get pet your head about makeup like if they were walking down all you'd turn around and go back the other way if you got makeup on you know there were just ways and means of just getting away with it okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put my eyeliner on i've put all of it away because i threw it in the cupboard i was gonna wrap this video up and disgust with myself after round three um, I'm going to put Milani um, eyeliner underneath my eye. Uh, this is a really long process. I'm not doing it on camera. Um, I've got um, Maybell Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Gel Eyeliner. <laughs> Tattoo Eye Studio in 01 Black. Put that um, on as well. And then just an, a NYX pen, um, if I can find it. Where have I put it? It's in here. Here it is. Um, a NYX. I've used it that much. I've worn the name off. Um, to do the wing and the flick. And I'll put me, me lashes on. Lashes. Um, I get them from eBay. Two quid a strip of one, two, three, four, five. That's what I do. Um, like gets these from eBay, and I'll be back. So hang on, where's my dabber? Right, I'll see the any minute. There we go. All done. I cleaned up. Told you it doesn't look so bad. Right, I'm gonna put my brows on now. As you can see, I don't have any. So I've painted them on myself. So I use this. It's got wax and colours. And then I use this as my template. And this actually works. So I'll 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 do this and I'll I'll get back to you. Unless you want to see me do one. Do you want to see me do one? 
Okay, then I'll show you one. Okay, we've got a light soft wax in one corner, which we use one pen for. We find a, a happy home that we want our so say so let me get me get me mirror right that's where i want it so I'll leave it there and just hold my fingers in that position i know you might say to yourself hey it's a bit thingy that Believe you and me, the eyebrow things I have tried from AliExpress are just pants compared to this. I, I tried it one time and I thought, this is never going to work. This is just going to be another pants idea. And I've been using it ever since. And I've had it now about six months. Because you know what I'm like for... Um, for sending for things off AliExpress, um, for try them only for be deflated that the crap. Well, I wasn't deflated with this one, so I just put the. I just saw a fly, me blind. How can a fly be in me blind? Um, just put this round here like so. And then you just whip it off. And you've got an eyebrow. Obviously you have to tidy it up. But it's done. Dusted. Eyebrow on. Right. Do it to and come back. In a jiff. Okay. Just put a bit of my eyebrows on there now, see? And I've just got a circle part of absolute magic. Don't know what it is. At least he gave it me one day. It doesn't have any labels on it. Because whatever they are, they're worn off. And in it is like a little fine grand gold powder. And it is the bomb for underneath your eyebrows. Just to give it that, you know, hint of a... <laughs> right. <clears throat> Cracked on now. We're going to get some primer on. Um, I'm going to use my elf. Use my primer. And get it all on. I like elf. Flake. Oh, I can tell I've had it a while though. It smells staley. Smells stale. Smells funny. I can recognise the smell. But at the same time, it's not coming to me. Right, do me top here. I buy this stuff again. It is awesome. Elf Primer. It's always handy to have in. Like, just in case your daughter runs off with your other uh, best cosmetics. So, I've always got that on a standby. <laughs> right. Foundation. Rimmel. Neezy's favourite, always Neezy's favourite, Rimmel Lasting Finish, goes on like a dream and I'm going to use Avon's foundation brush, um, I've got some Avon makeup, why is it I get an Avon lady and when I get her and I get loads of stuff from her, she don't come back, so I pay you it's not like a don't pay because with Avon you've no choice.
Well, I have to do a bit of a voiceover here because I don't know. I just seem to click the video um, and then I just stopped talking. I just don't know what it was. I just went into this into this thing where I just, just stopped talking to you guys and explaining to you, you know, I was putting my foundation on and avoid make sure that I was avoiding around my eyes because that's where the crepiness is. And that's what I should be telling you guys as I'm putting this foundation on. Mm, and I was like nice putting too. it on and and I thought, mm, I've put one layer on, I need to do another and I need to be telling you this and all of a sudden I just went so quiet and I just don't, didn't understand what. I must have just got lost in my own thoughts. So I thought, well, I can always stick a voiceover on and here I am, yobbiting on a voiceover. But at least you're still being able to hear my voice, my wonderful voice. It's like, you know, you think, hmm, should I put a bit of music on or should I just, you know, still moid them with a voiceover? And I thought, no, I'll moid it with a voiceover. Anyway. Going to put another layer on. I, I was just going to say, I'm just going to put another right, layer on there. See, on now. I didn't think it was thick enough and there I my was. Favourite. Putting my concealer on. Unique concealer. Absolutely fabulous stuff. Thick as as anything, but it's you jam out when you buy it. Unique makeup is a good makeup, but it is very expensive. Sorry, Unique, you're very good. I'm I'm really giving you the the you know the praise in that department, but um, you're very expensive. Whereas people like me and my friends run a budget. We're, we're like disabled ladies who don't work. So, you know, we don't have an income like we used to. Like, we used to go out and get a wage. Um, so, I'm afraid we buy our makeup off eBay, off Wish, AliExpress, places like that where we can afford it. So, anyway, so I'm, I'm putting uh, the highlighter on the, um, on the chinny chin chin. And I've put it on under the the nose, on the nose, on the forehead, highlighting the places on your face that when the when people look at you, it it's like an illusion where you look lighter in the middle of your face okay. than anywhere else. So, so what I'm saying here? Some don't know what I'm saying on here. Trying to read what I'm saying, but I can't understand. Um. Don't know. Don't know what she's saying. Oh, I know what she's doing. She's going off for the little pot of magic. Because I was going to do around my eyes. So I come back and I have a little pot of elf. Elf. Elf on the shelf. This is another um, little magic it's in a box. long before elf on the shelf is here. Anyway, elf is a, just a little fine powder that you can buy it's not dear and for those of us that have it's delicate under the eyes. eyes now we're getting mature you know these eyes. things happen oh, we can't plaster our faces like these creepy. young ones do all under the eyes who can't do it so you have to put things on like this little pot so of magic put your foundation you dab it on under your, your eyes. eyes and it just blends in with the rest of your makeup and it looks fabulous. Um, and I know that I've put a lot of friends onto this product. Get Elf that. is very oh, good. Magic. I love Elf. I love their translucent powder as well. You can even use that under the eyes as well. It seems to be the same stuff. Anyway... So I'm still putting it under my eyes um, because that's what I have to, it's have to use. Um, what am I doing next now? What am I doing here? I'm looking. I think I'm running. No, I'm not. thought I was running out. What? What did you say? Easy. Speak up. Oh, she's doing it under eye. She's doing it to her under eye. <laughs> Anywhere and gone. Right. What 
put some powder oh no go put some blush on put some blush in bronzer love this stuff unique again it is good though okay coming back with another voiceover and anyway, doing under the cheeks there doing at the side of the cheeks there with the lovely unique bronze i use this all the time just gives a nice hint of a shadow underneath that cheekbone and then um you sort of blend that in so it makes a nice little looks like a you know you've accentuated the sides of your face oh bloody hell that's a big word for me today accentuate it so there she is blending away go on Nisa. you blend away there love right now then doing on put some on the doing top on, if you've got a slap doing forehead, on top of like the forehead as she says she's got a slap forehead I'm that receding. means she's receding yeah you are definitely receding happens to the best of us love um so if you put a bit of the same bronzer on the top there just on your your hairline all the way around blending it in it will Works Give that though. illusion again of a smaller face instead of looking like you've got a slap forehead. Okay, she's blending it all it in like before. a golden girl. Yeah. Yeah. Bit on the chinny chin I chin. Know. Always got to put a bit of shadow. It's like, you remember when you were at an art school, it's a bit like that. You've got to start shadowing in the bits. That you want to be to be focused on, and then you want to deshadow the bits that you don't want to be focused on. So it's a bit like that if you're sketching. So I always put a bit on my nose as well because my nose as a pre my nose does appreciate a bit of bronzer because it makes it look like I've been sunbathing. Okay. That's my theory, and I'm Blush. sticking to it. So what's coming next i think it's going to be my blusher and obviously with the blusher um it is a revolution baked blush um a lot of my makeup is revolution it's cheap it's good and it's it is well good pigmented stuff um, and you do your blush on the apples of your cheeks if you smile white smile Nisi. that's it keep smiling no no don't stop smiling oh she's a miserable bitch today aren't you i don't know what's up with her i don't know why she stopped talking but here i am doing the bloody voiceovers because she don't want to i must have just got lost in my thoughts God knows, God only knows. But anyway, that's what you do. You blend it up into the cheekbone with the bronzer and then it doesn't look like you've been slapped outside of your face. That's it, keep blending. Blending, blending's the key as well. The shadowing, blending. See, she's just checking it, making sure it looks all right on both sides. So what's coming next? I think it will be God no, no, no. powder. Powder. That's it, powder. Yeah. And now Lucy rubbed off. She's rubbed off with all my best stuff. All my best brushes. There you go, found it. Rimmel lasting finish uh powder that matches my rimmel foundation brush. belting stuff rimmel belting another cheap cheap or average priced uh, makeup which is good um avon rimmel revolution 
elf all these yeah, there's a lot of oh, wet and wilds another one cheap good products um so there's no excuse really for you not to look great every day this is not my regular brush um as you can see the powder gets everywhere because i'm using see. a different brush i'm actually using my highlighter because our lucy's tech not rubbed off with my brush naughty lucy <laughs> Sorry, Lulu, but you will come in and rob all my best stuff. Mm -hmm. So I have to uh, make best with what I've got. So there you go, just put a bit of powder underneath those cheekbones to make that contour pop out even more. Um, blended it in, always blend, 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 blend. This is the key to getting mm -hmm. a good look on your face blending everything in so that when you look at yourself you look fabulous well Finally, try to look fabulous at our ball. age it's well, a bloody feat in itself but Hi, yes um oh yeah she just says the it's highlighting time which is the my favorite oh, we can go it mad the with this ever God, I love, I love highlighting. It's sparkly. It's revolution again. And it's, it's a gold, goldy one. It's beautiful. Um, I look, I Samantha likes this one. Samantha is my eldest daughter. For those who don't know, I have two beautiful daughters. I have got one who's 32. And I've got another who's 23. <laughs> Can you see how I'm saying it dead slow because I'm trying to remember? Oh my god! Oh lordy lordy! You get like this when you get older. You forget your kids' ages. So there I am, highlighting all the places which are there. You go top of the cupid's brow, just before you put your lipstick on. If you put a little bit on the top there, where the little V is, it makes the li your lipstick beautiful i'm telling you it works put a bit on the uh my nose the ridge of my nose and then i make the the end You're of my nose a bit shiny there we go and uh, i do want at the side of my eyes uh, i do a bit on my forehead um you normally you put a little bit in the corners of your eyes where your tear duct is if you if you put the same highlighter there, makes your eyes stand out fabulous. As well as putting a bit of the same stuff underneath your eyebrows, looking gorgeous. Right, what's she doing now? Lip liner. Yeah, if you can, if you can, it's better if you if you use a lip liner because then you draw in the outline of where you're going to be putting your lipstick in which is better as well because the lip liner puts a sort of barrier around your lips to stop your lipstick from leaking into your foundation so lip liner never use lipstick me i have never put lipstick on ever without putting lip liner on first ever even if i'm just putting a nudie one on I always put a new D lip liner on before I put everything in because it just it says, because I've got l big lips as well. I mean, I, I were gifted with nice big chunky lips, but they can be as well. They can be a nightmare um, at times having big lips. There we go. So she's coming in with her favourite lipstick of all time. She says this when she sees firemen to her best mate, Katharina, many, many moons ago. She used to say, if a fireman was around, Katharina, where's my red lipstick? Get my red lipstick out. The firemen are here. Yeah, so I always used to like, want to put my red lipstick on when I saw a fireman. What's, what's all that about? But my best friend, Katharina, knew how much I loved firemen. 
That was at the time. That was years ago. I'm all right now. I don't do that sort of thing now. But yes, shout out to Katerina. Hi, Katerina. I love you lots, darling. She's having not a good time at all with all these flipping naughty neighbours. And not being right with her. And it's not right. But anyway, love you lots, darling. Right, here I am. Revolution again. Uh, I'm just showing you that it's been red. It's been a red revolution lipstick that I've put on. There you go, see? And then what I do is I put this other revolution lipstick on and it's a gold highlighting. Yeah. Um, it's, it's gold. It's called Dragon's Blood. And it's got like a mermaidy lid. And I put this in the middle of the red lipstick and it just... Oh, it just... It's... As the young uns would say, it's bomb. I hate that bloody word. I mean, I don't mind it if it's said occasionally. But when somebody says, oh, it's bomb this, it's bomb that. Oh, my God. How many times do you have to say it? Here we go. I'm all done. I'm putting the setting spray on. We're coming to the end of the video. Thank you so much for everyone watching this video love Ooh. you lots and i'll there see you go. in my next bye <sighs> dribbling <laughs> there we go all done what do you think okay thumbs up right good to go love you lots take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, darlings.